Goldfinger is designed for patients after femoral artery puncture. As a replacement of manual compression, Goldfinger makes an ideal puncture site management solution and a comfortable post-operation experience for patients. Each package of Goldfinger contains a post-procedure guide, a hose dome, support with belt, and the main unit. Pull out the tag to activate the device. Unlock the safety. Test the device before using. Palpate the pedal pulse and mark the location. The cushion support can help the patient feel more comfortable. Place it under the thigh. The ideal position of the support should be near the hip. Pull out the sheath three to five centimeters. Take the hose dome out of the Tyvek pouch. Place it onto the main unit with a sterilized hand. To make the installation more stable, you may use the adhesive tape on the stabilizer. When you put the main unit on the puncture site, make sure the hose dome is just above the vascular incision. This step is crucial to the success of hemostasis. If you are not sure about the location of the vascular incision, consult the person who made the incision. Attach the Velcro belt to both sides. If the belt is too long, too short, you may refer to the adjustment instructions in the user's guide. For correct position, a side view of the belt and the main unit should form a 90 degree angle. The unit should be perpendicular to the thigh when observed from the end. The perimeter surface of hose dome should have even pressure on the skin and a cross in the top view. The tightness of the belt will affect the hemostasis. With your index finger, apply firm upward pressure on the main unit. The dome should lift about 1.5 to 2 centimeters above the skin. That will indicate proper adjustment. For obese patients whose thighs are thick and soft, it is advised to make the belt a bit tighter. When removing the sheath, Press down the superior end of the unit with your left hand to prevent bleeding. Pull out the sheath with the right hand. Keep pressing down with your left hand. Switch the pressure button to increase pressure. When the device generates enough pressure, release the left hand. Observe the puncture site. Ensure there is no internal or external bleeding. Palpate the pedal pulse and make sure it's normal. Adjust to the proper pressure, which will ensure both hemostasis and sufficient blood flow. Lock the safety at the right pressure. Complete the post-procedure guide. The post-procedure guide indicates the setup time 
initial pressure, pressure adjustment time and setting, and time to remove the device. It facilitates the post-operation care. Display the post-procedure guide near or on the patient. The compression duration is assessed considering the following factors. The patient's coagulation level, the dose and type of anticoagulant, arterial blood pressure, vessel wall status, and the quality of the incision. Reduce the pressure when the hemostasis compression is finished. After proper hemostasis compression, incisions stop bleeding in most cases. However, a duration of low pressure subsidiary compression is strongly recommended to reinforce the hemostasis. A low pressure subsidiary compression is typically one to three hours. After extended periods of contact, the silicone dome might stick to the skin. An alcohol swab inserted under the dome as it is being removed will facilitate easier removal. Proceed gently to avoid opening the wound. Cleanse the puncture site and apply a bandage or simple dressing. No further sandbag or pressure dressing is required.